What's up guys, I am back and these are all the hidden features in iOS 11. You can use your phone one-handedly, just hold the world icon, swipe to left to use it with your left hand and if you swipe to right, you can use it with your right hand. It's really good to use your phone with one hand, it does shrink the keys though. Now you can record your screen on iOS 11, it's pretty simple, just go to settings, inside settings, go to control center, scroll down and you'll see screen recording, just hit the plus, it'll just go into your control center, just tap on the icon and boom, you'll start recording your screen in the highest resolution. If your lock button does not work, you can actually shut down your phone inside of general. Now Apple took this thing from Samsung, so when actually screenshot, there's a small floating version of your screenshot. So if you click on this thing, it actually expands and gives you some options. They're really good, actually you get a brush, a couple of brushes, so you can actually just type, you can paint around this thing. So I'm going to select this brush, you can actually see. You can just save this thing easily. There's a marker here too, then you can actually change the colors, it's pretty nice. And there are a couple of other things, like you can actually add a magnifying glass. So I'm just gonna go back here, you can see magnifying. You can actually add a magnifying glass on something like the UD icon right here, so it just expands and looks bigger. You can actually change the outer look of this thing, you can actually make it broader. There's also the signature thing, so you can actually signature, your signature on a picture. That's, that's kinda cool, but I don't know if you wanna use that thing much. And there's this text, so you, actually, you can type text, there are like three fonts, I mean it's limited, but it's, it's really good, you never got these things in Apple before, you can actually make it bigger or smaller depending on what you want, and there's this done button, when you click done, it asks you to delete or save, so if you click on save, it'll just save it to your camera roll. Now Siri so can actually translate from English to Chinese or Japanese or any language you want. So just ask it to translate and tell it the phrase. Once you do that, it'll just translate it and say it right away. It's actually really fast. Now the Messages app got the biggest update of all. Now there's a dock at the bottom which actually allows you to do a couple of things. First of all, you get an app store. So this is an app store for your messaging app or for a keyboard. So there are different keyboards, there are different sticker applications, there are actually application that works with your keyboard, for example, cam scanner, or maybe Facebook, Instagram, all these applications that are compatible for you to use with your keyboard, so you can actually just make things quicker and better, like true color also. Then there's this section, actually stickers and GIFs included, so you can actually send it, just click on the one you like, for example, this one right here, it'll just download right away real fast, and once it's done, actually it automatically comes to the send section, so you just click on send, and the other person will receive this thing as soon as possible. The next thing is actually this music one. So if you're listening to some new, new music and you want to share this new music to your friends, you can actually just do that real quick from here. You can also send money now from messaging app. There's this Google Maps app thing, so that's also cool. You can just send a location to your friends. I mean, any map application will work, even the stock one will, so you can actually configure all this later in this uh, section thing. There's Lastly is this Thing you can actually draw. It was in iOS 10 also, nothing new, but you can just draw it right here, click on send, and that's that's all. There's there's nothing too fancy about this thing. And as I said, you can actually rearrange stuff here, add stuff, just delete stuff, all that things. And lastly, there's a new effect to send your text. I mean, effects were actually came up with iOS 10, but this new one is actually the same message repeat, so you can just tap right here and when you go to the effects section you can see all these messaging popping up it's really it's really good I mean something new that Apple did try I kind of dig it thing and you can see all this it's, it's a really cool effect you can just send to anybody and you also return all the old effects that you had back in the day so you still have them you can click on send and the other person if they're not on iOS 11 they won't get this thing so you can see right here I'm on iOS 9 on this phone and I did not receive that effect thing so make sure the other person is also running the latest. Now you can offload applications in your storage section so if you're out of storage and you need storage to download more stuff you can just offload any application you want just click on the offload thing and offload it and you can install more stuff it actually syncs up all the data to your iCloud drive that is actually online so you can actually get all the data back anytime you want. Now you can actually prevent cross sighting which actually just makes your Safari experience better so if you go into the Safari section just make sure you turn this thing on it's, it's a really good feature nothing big but actually it helps a lot. The calculator app actually got an update for its icon and actually a redesign inside so you can actually see all these circular icons you can just swipe back to actually these stuff so there's not a big change but just new design and stuff. 
lock screen has actually seen a big change so if you swipe from the center you actually get all the notifications right away like if you can swipe to the right you get the camera swipe to the left you get all this today view tab but if you swipe from the center you just go to your notification center and if you do it from the notification center you go to the lock screen the itunes icon also got an update but there's no redesign inside there are bold text inside the phone application there are no icon labels for anything that you put inside of your dock so actually it just makes a cleaner and a better look for your phone apple shifted to their own file system it's called file drive so when you go inside you can actually drag and drop stuff from all your apple devices for example all these phones lying here and from your macbook you can actually sync stuff and drag and drop to your phone it's like airdrop but it's more than airdrop i mean you can actually do more you can actually send stuff like music files documents all that stuff i mean it's something new apple just introduced control center saw the biggest update actually if you hold anything it pops up and everything is floating now it's actually cool you can just adjust things right here real quick everything is in one page if you hold this Airplay mode right here actually does the thing. I mean, you can actually add and delete stuff from Control Center. It's fully customizable. Now you can type things in series. So if you go to settings, you go to general, you go to accessibility, and inside there, if you go to Siri, you can actually click on type in Siri. So if you click that and you activate Siri, you can now type instead of saying. So if you don't like saying in public, you can just type things and ask it to Siri. It's it's kind of quick to say hi. It just replies as soon as possible. I mean, you actually get this cool message too, which actually says it learned new things now. There's a new thing called password autofill. It's not working yet. It'll work in the near future, but it will actually allow you to passcode protect every application and you can actually just protect things from other people. Also inside of this accounts and password things right here, there's a new thing. You can actually lock certain websites. It's like parental control. You can actually add a password for your various website access. I mean, it's really cool. It's not working yet, but it'll work in the near future. Now Siri is going to be merged with the application, so you'll be able to access all the applications straight through up Siri. For example, if you go in Amazon, make sure it's turned on. So you now you'll be able to order stuff inside of Siri from Amazon, do the payments through Apple Pay. It's kind of cool. It's not working yet though. The app switcher saw an update, so it actually it's just apps now, no home screen comes up, there's this Bluetooth thing, so if you have connected to your speaker or headphones, it just shows up right away, but now it's just more about applications and no home screen right there, you can just clean stuff up, and once you're done, just click on the home button and you're good to go. Now I can just read a QR code straight from the camera application, so just hold the QR code in front of the camera, it'll take a while and it'll just pop up with things, just click on it, you can see, there, this is a Safari link, so there's this pop-up right here, just click it and it'll redirect you to the thing that it actually is, it's really cool, it takes a while to load though, but I think Apple is just getting better at things like these. Apple did not talk about any dark mode, but you can actually assess it from accessibility, go to display recommendations, inside, turn on smart and word. It actually just makes the whites and turn it to black. I mean, everything remains normal. You can see it's green and all the things, all your icons, all your home screen will be normal. Just a few things that are white will turn into black. Now you can actually pair and read NRC devices near you. If you own the AirPods, now you can actually adjust and configure. You can just double tap to raise the volume to 10%. Now there's a glitch inside the lock screen, so it actually turns landscape on both the smaller and bigger iPhones. I think it's just because of the developer version, but it is there. Maps also saw an update, so actually you can see the blueprints of malls and airports straight to your map application, so it'll be easy for you to roam around those places. Music also saw an update. Now it won't bother you to buy the subscription for Apple Music and there's a bit of change in the profile section. Nothing new, it's just a few things changed. The biggest update of all is inside the App Store. Now there's a new section for games, a new section for apps and a new today section. Inside that you actually get a new app of the day, a new editor twice every day uh, and also another app of the day and also a game of the day, so that's kind of cool. And also it actually just says the best thing for the day. For example, it says relax, breathe, so it'll just come up with all the applications like that. And if you go inside of anything, any application, game, anything, you actually get the screenshots, like, like the gameplay screenshot, all that stuff right here. They actually 
see the bundle right here but now you get reviews you don't get description there are reviews from people the Pfizer reviews also and down here you can actually see the compatibility the size of the file everything languages all the things it's kind of cool I mean it's it's not a it's not a major overhaul it's an overhaul but it's kind of cool it's, it's fast now I can configure the control center I mean you can add or delete applications it's kinda cool you can just add this thing right here and you can go down you can add anything as much as things you want I'm gonna add the screen recording I actually showed the screen recording thing already so it's kinda cool it works hope you guys enjoyed this video more content coming soon until then please like comment and subscribe peace